Okay, number 17. Uh, the local store, 65 female employees were randomly selected, was found that their monthly income is $634 with a standard deviation of 21.50. 75 male employees were randomly selected, <coughs> and their mean monthly income was 676 with a standard deviation of 68.70. <coughs> Test the hypothesis that male employees have higher monthly income than female employees. Since he wants us to test that the male have higher income than female, I'm going to call the male, label it 1. So this is male. Uh, this, and uh, I'm going to take the information. So N1 is 75. X1 is... X1 bar is the mean, which is, what was it? Uh, $676. And S1, which is a standard deviation, 168.70. For female. Now, if you guys decide to label female as 1, then rather than testing that mu1, <coughs> if you keep the male as number 1, you have to test that mu1 is bigger than mu2. But if you switch the numbers and female will become 1 and male is 2, you have to uh, test that mu1 is less than mu2. If the male are higher than the female, that means the female are lower than the male. This is how it works. N2 is 65. X2 bar is 634. And S2 is 121.50. Okay, so the test will be HO. Mu1 equals to mu2 or mu1 minus mu1 uh, mu1 minus mu2 is 0 ha we want to test that mu1 is bigger than mu2 this is where the claim is okay that is how we run the test using the calculator i don't require you to use any formulas or any tables on the calculator so uh, on the calculator Okay, let me just clear the screen. Man. Okay, so we go to stat, edit, a stat test, I'm sorry, and then it is a two sample t test. Okay, stats, x1 bar, I entered some of the numbers, so uh, just to save time. So 676 uh, for mu1. Uh, S1 is 168.70, N1 is 75, then I enter X2 bar 634, standard deviation 121.50, and uh, uh, N2 is what, 65? Okay. Now, what is the alternative sign? It's a greater than, enter. Pooled, keep pooled by default as no. Pooled means is asking uh, the population variances are equal. Since we don't have any information about them, we just assume that they're not. And then calculate. So T, that's uh, step number two. T is what? Well, T0. Your book calls it T0. This is the test statistic. So well, that's 1.705. Step number three is the p-value, and the p-value is what, 0 0.045, I'm going to take one more digit, two. He says tested at 0 0.01, well this is bigger than alpha, which is 0 0.01, so what's your decision guys, a fail, to reject, HO, conclusion, there is not enough evidence at the 0 0.01 level of significance to support the claim. Uh, 
that the male employees have a higher monthly income than female employees. Make sure to write this down. Okay, number 18, a local restaurant claims that the waiting time for its patrons to be served is the lowest in the area. A competitor restaurant checks the waiting time at both restaurants. The sample statistics are listed below. Test the local restaurant uh, hypothesis. So they claim that their waiting time is the lowest in the area. So what is the claim here? HO. HA, they want to claim that mu1 is less than mu2 because they're the lowest. So what would be the alternative? mu1 equals mu2. That's our claim. This is H1. So that's the local restaurant, the competitor. We want to check if the local restaurant waiting time is less than competitor restaurant waiting time. Okay, again, this is a two-sample t-test. Let me walk you through uh, this again on the calculator. I'm going to go to stat, tests, two-sample t-test. Stats, okay. X1 bar, 5.4. S1, 1.1. Be very careful as you enter your data. N1 is 45. Uh, X2 bar, 5.7. S2, 1. N2, 50. Scroll down. Choose the alternative. The alternative is less than, as you noticed. Pool, no by default, and then calculate. So I got T equals negative 1.385. This is step number two. Step number three, guys, is the p-value, which is 0 0.0847. He wants us to test that alpha equal 5%. So if this is more than alpha, equals 0 0.05. So what's up a decision? Fail to reject HO. And what's your conclusion in the context of the claim? There is not enough evidence at the 0 0.05 level of significance to support the local restaurant thing. That concludes the problem. Okay, number 19, a random sample of 8 ap apples of variety A and an independent random sample of 13 apples of variety B yielded the following weights and ounces. Do the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean weight of apples of variety A differs from the mean weight of apples of variety B use alpha equals 10% level of significance? Assume that the sample data come from normally distributed population with no outliers. Okay, so let's assume mu1 is for uh, variety A and mu2 is for variety B, so we need to test this. This is a null, and what's the alternative? When I test uh, that they're different, and that's the claim. Okay, how do you, we're going to use the calculator to do this, so you go to STAT, TESTS, uh, it is two sample t-test, again, number four, okay, data or statistics summary, no, it's data, enter, 
List one has my data, L2 has the second set of data. What's the alternative hypothesis is different from? Pool, no, calculate. So this is a test statistic, T equals T0 equals negative 1.506. T value is what? Can you help me read it? 0 0.14995, which is more than alpha. So we fail to reject HO. And let's make uh, conclusion here. There is not enough evidence at the 0 0.10 le level of significance. that the mean weight of apples of variety A is different from that See, no need to do any work by uh, hand. But make sure to list the five steps. Null alternative hypothesis, the test statistic, the p-value, reject or fail to reject the HO, and your uh, wording in the context of the claim.